Hello everyone, welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2. This is the last chapter of the game, Episode 5, No Going Back. We've just finished Episode 4, it was uh, pretty crazy stuff at the end there. And uh, we're just going to start off Episode 5 now. I'm going to make this into two parts, so the first part you're looking at now basically, and uh, the last part, the final part of the game. I'll get that one up as quickly as possible. So, uh, okay, guys, let's let's do this. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Try to go! I'm gonna fucking go. shoot it! I'll do it! it. it. Drop it! Drop it! Don't move! Don't move! I said don't move! Don't move. Don't move. Don't don't move. move. Everybody be cool! Oh my god, I'm doing something here guys, <laughs> holy moly, I'm trying to save the baby. We are thrown right in at the deep end. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to save the baby. No, I'm saving the baby. He chose to go after, of course I went after the baby. Holy shit, I didn't even see him out there. Good work, Clem. Thanks for nothing, Luke. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something, y'all. Get down here. <laughs> Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us until he runs out of ammo. Just stay down. You're gonna get your head blown off. We can't just sit here. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker! I kill every one of you! That's English. Get over to that side of the wall. I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, alright? Just shoot over towards the woods. Hey, it'll give him something to think about. Just long enough for me to make it over there. I'll, I'll try. Yeah? Okay. Good. Good. I just need the distraction. Okay? Alright, on my go. Go! Hey! What are you? 
Oh, you idiot. Well done, Kenny. Luke, I'm sorry. That ain't your fault. Oh, you got me in the leg, but I think, I think it went straight through. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. You get out here, or I put a bullet in this kid's hand. Shut up! Look, Miss Stevie, I'm sorry. You have to be with him. I said, shut up! Kenny, what are you doing? I'm ending this. Get out here, right fucking now! This is my shield montage. You will be able to do this. I'm not going to fight with the boys. We got weapons. Get out here! Перестань, отпусти меня! Я должен посмотреть, если с ней все в порядке. Stop squirming, damn it! Kenny. What? Oh, Jane. Oh my goodness me. It's safe to come out. Here, I got him. That was some crazy stuff, guys. Holy Jesus cannoli. Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. Intense, I yes. Thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Are you... Are you okay? I, I think so. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker. It's different. I didn't think it would be. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Come on. <sighs> okay. She doesn't seem too happy to be back. Jessica. No, Jessica. Rebecca. <laughs> How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. <gasps> you piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys! Get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please! Kenny, his... his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no! It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us? Huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. 
And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shitbird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with Kenny's methods and all that, but I gotta say, I don't trust the Russian kid. I really don't trust him. Especially after all that we've been through. So, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. I know Kenny's the Look, big bad wolf here, but... I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. That he's lost. It's changing him. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! So, I feel the game is uh, trying to pull me away from Kenny, make me kind of pick sides here. It's never gonna, I'm always gonna be on Kenny's side, so it's a pretty easy choice for me so far. I'm just gonna stick with Kenny. That's what I've done from the start, and that's what I'm gonna continue to do. That's what I did through Season 1 too, so... Uh, well, they're trying to make it interesting, but it's an easy choice for me so far. Wait up! Wait! We need to stop. No! No, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should've. Alright, wait there. Hey! what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Can come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. If you know what's good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. I don't understand this thing. They're taking too easy on this Russian. What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. 
bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. I've noticed that, too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. <sighs> Damn it. Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Try not to think about it. Sitting in the snow, lean up against a tree, bullet in my leg, but alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. And for what? They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. All right. This should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. I'm trying to guess how far this place is. Yeah, nothing important. Okay, you don't gotta tell me if you don't want to. I'm fine. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know not, him better than I do. I'm not Maybe comfortable he'll doing let it you either. Do it. <laughs> they really need changing. I don't know if he'll let me. He may not, but you ought to try. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. Okay, they would never let a ten-year-old do this. <laughs> it's I was thinking we go with absolutely absurd. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean... I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm alright. I mentioned it earlier. To Bonnie. I told her I'm fine. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. That's true. Let's <laughs> get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. You don't scare me, old man. Let's see what you got under there. Remove the bandage. It's okay. I trust you. All right, let's do the <laughs> let's do it properly this time. Come on, the controls are so they're so stupid, actually. Here we go. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals. I'm glad Carver's dead. We saw to that, didn't we? So, 
I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. It might sting a little. You think? I think it's going to sting a lot. <laughs> Sorry, Kenny. Uh, holy fucking hell. <laughs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. <sighs> Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner. Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. See, it's those conversations with Kenny where he's showing his real side. Where he worries about the, the people that he's lost and the people that are left in the group. That makes the choice very easy for me to follow him because he's always selfless he always thinks of others before himself he's always protecting the group so uh maybe he's doing it a little bit too much Shut now <laughs> but he's still doing it hey i'm talking to you what it? it it's what what do you mean what the place you're fucking taking us he doesn't speak much english yeah no shit arvo is this where the supplies are where the food is Answer her, god damn it! No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. No mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that'd work. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. <laughs> Holy Here, Lord. I got him. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> That's Come terrible. On over. It's safe. <sighs> Yeah, Arvo's not feeling too good right now. I really don't understand why they're all trusting him so well. It's kind of puzzling to me. 
he did uh, lead an ambush. They almost killed us all, so... I'm with Kenny on this one. I don't trust this Russian one single bit. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... What? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remembered. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. What did you study? Majored in art history. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. All right, bring the booze. <laughs> I'd like a sip. I would. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about it. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right, it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. The both of you. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, I think we could bet on that. Because you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Yep. Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. 
Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change the mind. All right, we are in control, finally. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. That's one thing we don't have to worry about, I guess. Finally in control of Clementine. So much nicer by the fire. Like I was saying earlier, I think they are being uh, too nice to this guy. He kind of... Uh, held them all up and everything so I don't really know why they're being so lenient on him apart from Kenny of course let's ask him about his sister I'm I'm sorry about your sister of course I understand he's sad and all but uh, there was no reason for them to follow us there was no reason for them to uh, try and steal from us we didn't steal from them. I so, miss uh, TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. So yeah. Let's have a word with Kenny. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clam. Just, uh... Needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help. And I blamed you for it. I... I could have done more. No, don't say that. You did everything you could. I'm sorry if anything I said made you feel any different than that. It just makes me feel awful. I know I can be a real shit sometimes. Stop. No, it's true. But I... I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there whole lot for a couple years off on a boat somewhere or other I thought I enjoyed that time away from him from my family but I'd give anything for one more second with Bill to play catch with Doug to touch conscious face anything in the world I miss Doc too he was a good friend and I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. Just wanted folks to be happy, that's all. Boy like that. Thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. Okay. Well, I understand if you want to be alone for a while. I get that way too sometimes. Thanks, Clem. No problem, Kenny. You see, I feel like we have a, a really good understanding whenever he speaks with us he's calm and he's nice and collective but whenever he speaks with everyone else he's kind of becomes a different type of animal <laughs> they expect you to lure me over there with alcohol i wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long it's probably been a while for everyone we just want you to feel welcome it's warm over by the fire what is it it's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... 
you know, be around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to sip? It's okay. Do I ever? I'm a kid. Of course body. I want to sip. You'll feel it in <laughs> your nose. Um, sure. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clem. Okay. Oh, Kenny's not happy about that. Uh -oh, I understand. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Good memories, Jane. Good talk. <laughs> I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Time to not make it weird. Yeah, she's a bit of an oddball, this one, so... Uh... Wanna sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Uh, at least we got her there. I gave Kenny a space, so... Uh, probably could talk to uh, Arvo again. Uh. <laughs> okay. Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey. I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. All right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. We just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Why are you so yeah, worried about yeah, this right. kid? It looks like he could use it. Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't Give have... me alone! <laughs> oh. Jesus, Kenny! You knocked the kid out! What was I supposed to do? He was screaming bloody murder! What the hell did you rile him up for? He was tied up. So? What's that got to do with anything? It was under control. You knocked him out with a gun. I was just reacting. I, I didn't have time to... Fuck! You're tired, Kenny. Maybe you should get some rest. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I could... 
probably use some sleep. It's been a long day. We should rest up. That kid was defenseless. I know, I know. But we can't do nothing about that now. Let's just get a little rest. Will you take first watch? I mean, I can if you don't All want right. to. Come on, Cannon. Let's go get some sleep. Okay. Yeah. Everybody rest up. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Alright guys, that is the end of this part. I will be back with the final part in not too long, so I'll see you then. Bye bye.